Hello everyone. I am here to do a flip through on the family history style journal. Um, you can use it for anything, but um, there are some things in here that pertain to family um, words and things. So to start off, um, this is the, the cover and I just closed it with a tie around it. Um, I couldn't put eyelets here because there's a pocket on the other side. And um, so um, this is the, the back and this is a cross stitch that I made myself and uh, put on this journal. These little uh, strings eventually will go away, I think. Oops, boy, it's really nasty today. Uh, so anyway, I'll get that. Okay, so this little um, card here, actually frame, comes out of here. So um, if you want to glue it down, you can. I left it unglued because I wanted to show all the cross stitch that I could. Um, then in here is a space to remove this little um, journal card. And then if you want, you can um, actually glue it back down with the cross stitch showing through, or you can put a family photo in there, or any photo, it doesn't have to be family, just something if you like it, okay? And then if you glue it down, leave this top open so you can get this out. It may be kind of difficult, but anyway, that's what I did. And then I have this little jewel that was from a yard sale, and I've been wanting to use these, but I never had that right color blue. And this worked perfectly. This one here, I straightened it up and I think it looks uh, much better than it did. And we have some more cross stitch down here. And then I put lace on the uh, side here. Oh, and let me tell you, it is eight and a half uh, tall and five and a half wide. And the spine, because this is an altered book, is like three quarters of an inch, okay? So then we go into the book and um, I've covered all the pages. And then here's um, a journal card right here in front. And that's right where I would have wanted to put my eyelid. I, well, yeah, I just didn't think it was gonna work. So um, just put a little um, collage -y thing there. This is just um, plain paper. Uh, I think this is Artie Mae's uh, paper. And then I have um, a little date down here on a, um, what do you call them, label. This side is completely plain. I was getting this so full, let me show you. Okay, and it wasn't gonna hardly even close if I kept adding more, which I could have, and I did add a lot more than I had planned to. Uh, but I thought, okay, so this one isn't really one to write on. You could if you used a dark pen, but uh, just, I think it'd be great for a photograph. So, and I'm gonna send a few more pieces of ephemera and you can use that uh, to make a collage or whatever you'd like to do. Uh, and here's a pocket and this uh, design is from Janie B uh, Journals. And then this was a postcard that I did for Tanya uh, Taddy Treasures, their postcard challenge last year. And um, it's dated uh, I think it's 1964. It's from Canada. I think it's 1960. Oh yeah. 627-64. It's from Mom and Dad. I, I took off the address because these people may still be around since it's not that old. Okay, so that was a challenge and, and I'm happy to use these uh, postcards wherever I can. Um, this is blank on the back, you can journal there or put another picture. This one, I think you can journal on this easily enough. And on this one, this has a little collage here and this is from Bohemian Crafting, um, Eva. She has a kit that has all kinds of vintage things, papers and stuff. So I just made it um, a journal card. 
printed it out and made a journal card. And there's plenty of room in here to uh, put more photographs, uh, letters, uh, memorabilia that you want to keep, family memorabilia. Here's another page for journaling. And this page you could journal or put something on it. Here is just an envelope I sten uh, stenciled. And I stenciled on the back of this journal card. And then this is just plain up front. Um, so, put that in there. So on this one that's plain, you could easily, you know, write a little family tree or something. I don't know what's holding this up. It feels lumpy there. Um, but you could write a little family tree uh, on paper, uh, like, you know, your family, your children, your grandchildren, things like that. That's what I would do. Um, I bought my mom a journal, something like this. Um, and all I wanted her to do, because she's going to be 91, I just wanted her to write in this journal about my dad and his family. So what things she could remember. I mean, they got married at 16, so she pretty much grew up with him. And, um, you know, it, she could write a little story, you know, that he's told her. We can't ask him now. He's passed away. But she she has a really good memory, and she could still write all that in there. Uh, this little page here, and I think I shared this, but this is my great-grandparents. I meant to find out what their their names were, or uh, what side of the family. Their last name is Van Rosendell. Well, um, no, their last name is Larrington, I believe. They're Larringtons, and that's on my grandmother's side. Okay, and then just a little journal card there. And then over here, I just have a um, collage that I made. And then I have a, a journal card with this flower on it. Kind of went with this golden color back here. Then this is just a little notebook. You can write in this or you can rip a page off and use it in, you know, one of your collages or something. So it's just... Uh, folded over, stapled, and then it clips right into this like belly band. Now, you could put something else in that belly band if you wanted behind it or, you know, anything you want. Uh, this is for journaling here. This is the vintage um, copy of the vintage passport that I found. And I wanted to, to be able to see and read all about this particular uh, gentleman. Um, it's just pretty cool how they did that back in those days. Uh, he was born in Germany, and he was a doctor. He was a doctor. Um, and then, um, so you can read that. And then I just put this little thing in there. And you could stuff something in there to keep it, if you wanted more journaling space. This one here, I just have a little journal card here uh, to fit in this part. And then over here, we have a little envelope with, um, I hope you can see, yeah, a journal card in there. I need to make some more of these. These are cute. Um, and then you could journal on that. It's not that dark. Put pictures. Okay, so, oh, and then this is a picture. These are going to be a little difficult. Wait a minute. Let me see. I did not glue it in. I know that. These may be a little difficult <clears throat> to get out, but once you get them out, let me find my tweezers. <clears throat> once you get it out, sorry about that, <clears throat> then um, you can slide your own picture in. And this one I did not put a, um, I didn't put a, uh, maybe I'll just leave that out a little bit like that so you can get to it. Uh, that's my grandmother, great-grandmother. Um, this is my great-grandfather. And um, I think her last name was Pearson and his last name was Van Rosendale. He looks so much like my brother. It's amazing. There's so many resemblance in our family, I think. Uh, so back here, I have a little journal card in there. 
And like I said, I quit kind of putting things on it because they were getting so full. And this page here, I just left because it was a good blank page. Uh, this is um, the back of his, or the inside, I'm not sure, of his passport. This was all glued down uh, to, well, things were glued on top of this. And I got off as much as I could, and then I, um, then I, um, then I made a copy. I forgot. I was reading where he was from, Cleveland, Ohio. Um, so in here you can write things. It says about me, so you could write there. And then he comes out too. Let's see comes out on this side yes he does and these are just you can journal on the back of them if you'd like so um, another spot to put photographs um, journaling here journal 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 this is rusted paper I used some uh, rusty water and spritzed it on there uh, here's another page and it um, it has writing um, brothers and sisters growing up childhood. So that doesn't necessarily have to be a family history. It could just be your, your story. Okay. Then here we have one of these uh, um, pockets I made. And I have a tag in here. And I put this little washi on the edge to pull her out. Because... Um, if you want to put a new photograph and you could actually probably glue the photograph right to the card that way it would be the right size to fit um, just a little tiny journal card in here another little journal card there and then I have this journal card back here and then I have um, this flips up this I have is a vintage um, uh, date book or something like that. And then I put, oh, that washi's not holding, a journal card inside here. And you could put more inside there if you want. There's plenty of room. And I, I'll try to remember to go back and glue this. This is washi tape because this little portion kind of ripped over there. Okay, then on this side, I have this little journal card that fit right into that frame with that lady on the, in the picture. Here's a tag, and this one is just um, an envelope to store something in. Letters and things that you get. And then more journaling space, journaling, journaling. And then here's another one of those pockets. And this one I put this um, journal card in, which is stenciled on the back. And it says father, mother, and there's places for a uh, photograph there. And then this one is about me, this journal card. And then this journal card here, or tag. I'm not so big on, at decorating tags. I may come back and put something on there. I just... I don't know it's just they don't slip in very well if they've got anything heavy on them and this is some of that uh, colored um, gauze that I got last Christmas more journaling space journaling journaling uh, this one here is a belly band and I, I showed you how I made that um, this one here I've got the acetate in and I put the picture on the backing so there's not a picture in this one. Let me see if I can find something to slide in there so you can see. Okay, so if you have a photograph, then you can slide your photograph in here, okay? So I just left it blank inside, but I put that flower so that it have an image behind it. Okay. And you can stick more stuff back here too. There's plenty of room in that pocket. I made it pretty big. Okay, so um, 
Then we have this page here, which I think would be nice for photograph. Then I have this one here that's um, tucked in there. And um, I didn't put any acetate in it. That's because I kept forgetting to do acetate. So anyway, that little piece holds that. Then in here is just a little sheet of paper for journaling. I wanted to add so much stuff and I just had to stop. And here's a journal card here that I used the back of. A, I used a plain book page. I'm saving all my white pages like from my glue books and stuff because they're good for backing. Another um, place to put photos or um, journal in a dark pen. Uh, journaling space, this is from 1962, I think, or 64, something like that. This is a CD envelope and I just um, put tissue over that. And then inside I have a journal card here. Okay, and then you have space for writing here, and you can put more um, photographs in there if you'd like. I love that. That's from Janie B's, um, oh, it's called Kruger, I think is the, probably the name of the bird, I guess. Journaling space, journaling space, or photograph space, and then here's another old ledger book, and I just coffee dyed it. And um, then here is just a little card that I just coffee dyed and I loved how it went with this journal. So I had to include it. And then this one is just a piece of journal page that, a uh, ledger page that I put in there. So you can write, you know, you could put a family tree on here and then go across and write some more stuff. Okay, and then all together, there are 45 pages, front and back. Um, they do not include, or it does include, not like this. It, it includes like this page. Because remember, I had to add pages. So, But there's a lot of journaling space, plenty of journal cards, plenty of room for photographs and all that. And I think it's really pretty. Um... So this just ties here. I'm gonna to have to get this string off. It's wound around it. I mean, this is, I didn't make this. This is the way it came when I bought it. And it was considered ribbon. And I, I do think it eventually comes off. Of course, when I get on camera, it's all weird. Okay, tie this down fairly flat. Okay, and then this goes back into here just to do with what you like. And then this is your um, writing board. This is, um, I should have, shouldn't have tied that. If you haven't seen, the writing boards before. I usually include them in my journals recently, not long ago, but um, so if you have a bumpy spot, um, let's say you're going to write on the back of this card. You put this in and then you can write on it. I'm trying to find a bumpy spot again here. This is bumpy on this side, but you want to write on this side. So you put your um, writing board in here and then you can don't have a problem with buttons or bows or any of that kind of stuff I don't put buttons in usually but anyway so um, that's it now in the listing I will have uh, where you can purchase this journal um, it's bigcartel.com and I, I don't know the exact link for me but I'll, I'll put that, that'll be the only link in there at the moment because it's just easier than you having to go through all the different links. Okay, and um, did I, I feel like I missed that page. Hold on. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I, I saw this sticking out and I'm like, where did that come from? 
Okay. Um, also, I have um, in the in my Big Cartel account website, I have uh, Midnight Meadow that was a collaboration with um, Taddy Treasure and Collage Type. Uh, that is in there and it's available. Uh, I put it in right at Christmas and I'm sure several people did not see it. So you can take a look at that one too and there's a, a video showing the flip through. If you just go to um, either Midnight Meadows, the flip throughs on there, or you can go to my on my playlist. Um, yeah, that's probably where it is. Flip throughs or just um, under Midnight Meadow. Alrighty, so thanks for joining me. I probably took a little more time than I usually do, but um, it was a fun journal and I enjoyed making it and I was excited to get it done. Okay, bye.